The heroic amateur playing for fun, it all seems as distant from modern top-level sport as the photographs they were captured on. But that ancient ethos lives on, preserved in a field in South London, the Corinthian spirit. Corinthian casuals play in the relative obscurity of the eighth tier of English football, but the name is famous. Their predecessors, Corinthians, were perhaps football's first global brand. The dashing Corinthians inflicted Manchester United's heaviest ever defeat, 11-3. They also left an impression on the founders of Real Madrid, who copied their white shirts. An early tour of Brazil inspired the foundation of Corinthians Paulista, twice world club champions. And the great Socrates played for the now Corinthian casuals in the 80s. Millions watched on TV. Their approach appeals across countries and sports. The casuals still want to be seen as a proper club that try and represent what, let's call it, the old style of football stood for, and the Corinthian spirit should live on forever. Once, Corinthians players stood aside for penalties. Such was their commitment to sportsmanship. The modern generation don't do that, but still none are paid a penny to play. Other teams and players can't understand why we don't get paid and how we stay at this sort of standard of football, but the boys aren't here to for to get money, they're just here to play for like the love of the love of the game. Once money comes in it, it's a job and we all know and and can feel what that means to people. So ours is of a very special, unique level. Even more than most clubs, Corinthian casuals live on the financial brink, so the cup is about the current account, but also celebrating their past. They want to keep that Corinthian name nice and bold. They're very proud of their um, part in the club's history and the future, and I think the FA Cup represents a great opportunity for the club to remind the, the wider football public of this country that we're still going and we're still strong. The sun-dappled era of the amateur has long faded from the global game, but hidden on a pitch in Kingston is a reminder of how and why football started. Patrick Geary, BBC News.